welcome back to the channel and it has been an eventful few days since our last midweek video and that is our oh, lovely yawn from Callie there. That is week with a H because yes I was enjoying all of your puns in the comments and also thank you to everyone who said that they liked the idea of some extra content now and again. So we are back and in today's video I wanted to share with you something that I learned which I found very interesting and something that could have implications for our guinea pig's health. So the thing which I'm sure as you can guess concerns pea flakes is something which I learned through speaking to an exotics vet because unfortunately Pedro was at the vets again last Thursday. Bless him, he does just seem to be a piggy that's in and out of the vets a lot and we do our best for him. I keep a close eye on him and he wasn't right on Thursday morning. He wasn't wanting to eat anything. So although I had to go to work that morning, I booked a vet appointment for him when I got home in the afternoon and we got him to the vets fairly quickly. And what Pedro Pedro was dealing with is something called bloat which is a common digestive problem in guinea pigs in case you've not heard of it before. I do have a few videos on it but basically it is a build-up of too much gas in their digestive system. They struggle to get rid of the gas, it makes them feel poorly and in pain and they don't want to eat and that can just lead to further problems. So it can be really serious and if your guinea pig isn't eating it's really important to get them to the vet as soon as possible. So I have just given the guinea pig cage a nice sweep before this video that's why it's always looking so clean and I have also changed out the litter tray for them and got them lots of fresh hay in there. Hay is also an important thing that is kind of related to the topic of this video. As we know hay forms such an important part of our guinea pigs diet it should be 80 to 90 percent of everything that they eat which is a huge amount. They eat a lot and they also need to be eating more or less constantly. In fact they shouldn't go without eating for more than eight hours because that's when gut stasis can set in which is related to bloat. And people feed hay in different ways. Personally I like to have a big litter tray where I can give it to them loose on the ground as well as having some other feeders dotted around the cage for them with some different types of hay in as well. There we go, some nice tasty timothy for you. And excuse me buddy. We will have a bit of oat grass, hay, and <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to move out of the way, <laughs> and orchard grass hay in there as well. So we have a really nice selection going on. Pedro just has his whole face in that oh hay right now. So not eating enough hay could be one of the reasons why our guinea pigs might be prone to bloat, but it can be other things in their diet. It could be too much fresh vegetables. It could be fresh vegetables such as broccoli and cabbages, which can be known to cause gas. And in general, there's a lot of varying opinions around the fact. So I thought it would be really useful for me to share with you what I learned from the vets on Thursday. And basically what happened is Pedro was very poorly in the morning but then by the time I got home from work at lunchtime typical he was just sat there munching on some hay and I was thinking oh okay I've rushed home he looked really poorly this morning he didn't want to eat anything and now he seems okay and that's one of the things that makes me think bloat could be a lot more common than we initially think because it's possible for bloat to occur in short episodes that resolve themselves and could even go unnoticed by some owners and what did we learn? Well, Pedro had not been eating for a portion of the night because he didn't have that much food in his guts. However, the fact that he had been eating just before his appointment and he had food in his mouth was a good sign that the gas had sort of gone down on its own. And as you can see, he's definitely enjoying his hay at the moment. However, bloat is something that I've always got to be aware of with Pedro now as once it's happened once, it can happen again and you can have piggies who are just prone to bloat and digestive problems. So I wanted to ask the vet some questions about that, but it was when I got onto talking about how he'd been recently since his last blow episode, which was a lot more serious than this one. So I said I was feeding him some pea flakes every day, obviously not loads and loads, and that he was enjoying them, just kind of as an example of what how he was getting on. And the vet responded with something that I had no knowledge about at all, and I was genuinely really surprised and a little bit shocked to hear it. And it's that pea flakes aren't recommended at all for any guinea pigs struggling with digestive problems or those that are prone to bloat. 
And the reason being is the way peas and beans or legumes or legumes, depending on how you want to say it, are broken down in our guinea pig's digestive tract. What basically happens is that the peas are broken down into something that the bacteria in the digestive tract really, really love, and it makes them kind of multiply and sometimes get a bit out of balance. And they also produce lots of gas in the process, but it's not like normal gas, which is produced through hair and veggies and other things our guinea pigs eat. It's kind of like a foam and it's called a stable foam. The way the vet described it was like a head on a pint of beer where it's really stiff foam that doesn't really go away on its own. And it's that that can make it a problem in our guinea pig's digestion because it could potentially block the way so nothing else can get past and that gas will hang around and not dissipate easily. So I was obviously feeling pretty guilty, feeling bad for Pedro in that I had been giving him these pea flakes when they could have been causing problems for him. And the vet said, definitely don't feed Pedro any more pea flakes. So I'm sorry, matey. <laughs> He's loving pea flakes at the moment as well. <laughs> we are rapidly just getting hay absolutely everywhere, but it's all good. We're all talking into it and enjoying it. So after this kind of bombshell about the pea flakes, I did have a really good chat with the vet about diet in general and learned some more nuggets of information. One of them was I asked about pellets and I said, at the moment I feed the Burgess XL and I also feed the Science Selective Grain Free one and I'd heard that that one was better for piggies with digestive problems and he said there's not really any kind of scientific proof behind that one being any better. He did say that he thought Burgess was a really good pellet and that I was fine to feed a mix of them. The other thing that I asked about was fresh vegetables and I said that Pedro doesn't really get that many veggies anymore because I am worried about them causing problems with bloat. And I also asked whether the vegetables break down in any sort of strange way in the digestive system like the pea flakes do. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Phoebe, what was that? You are, she's such a diva. Roxy was asleep and she, she's just come out. She didn't even want to be in that bed anyway. And now Callie's going in. <laughs> and the answer to my question about the vegetables was there's no proper proof about whether certain vegetables create more gas, although there is this well-known reputation of broccoli and cabbages and cauliflower causing problems, and it's kind of in humans as well as other animals that that is suspected. So he said, you're probably right to avoid those types of vegetables, but in general, vegetables don't break down in a worrying way like the pea flakes do. So that put me a bit more at ease. I thought, oh, perhaps Pedro can have more vegetables than he's getting as long as I space them out, as long as I don't feed him too much at once, then he can enjoy a variety of small amounts of vegetables. Here we go! <laughs> and now you're getting Callie all excited! <laughs> Look at him fast asleep and there's a lot of squeaking. Sometimes I wonder about him. You up. There he is, wide awake instantly. <laughs> I love that little rumble they do. That greedy little, ooh, it's mine rumble. So although it's been a bit stressful with Pedro going to the vets and everything, I am glad that I can feel a little bit less anxious about letting him have fresh veggies. And although he's probably not that pleased about it, I am quite relieved that I know to cut pea flakes out of his diet and know that there is a kind of genuine reason for that. So just on the pea flakes thing, in case I've made anyone worried and they're thinking, oh God, do I need to throw all of the pea flakes away? Then it depends on your guinea pigs. If you have an older guinea 
guinea pig who might be prone to digestive problems, then yeah, it's probably not a good idea to feed them any more pea flakes. But if you have younger guinea pigs who are otherwise completely healthy and they're totally fine with their digestion, then it's totally fine to keep feeding pea flakes as you would normally. They should be given as a treat, so you know, no more than say five a day or so. If you're feeding more than that and if you're feeding lots at once, then yes, I would definitely scale it back. But I think the general message is that pea flakes are okay for normal, otherwise healthy guinea pigs. It's just guinea pigs with digestive problems and especially those prone to blow, we need to be careful around them. So I hope you found this video interesting guys and it would be good to get a bit of discussion going on in the comments. If you've had a piggy with bloat problems and digestive problems before, what steps have you taken to change their diet? Have you found that there are specific vegetables or other things that they eat that can cause a problem and what are your experiences it might be really useful to share them and let other people have a read okay guys as ever thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye bye